Jal, welcome. Darling, welcome. Two months ago? That is why you're talking to me like this? Oh, you lost your job. If you lost your job, don't you know where to find it? Am I the cause? Huh? Mom is okay now. Shut up! You should talk when I'm talking. In this whole house, we don't have a cup of rice, nor a cup of curry. We're sitting down watching TV. Okay, let's watch TV. I'm sure rice and beans will come out of it.
are without minding where we are going to. Mm, why should I ask? When I, I, don't, I don't want to know where you people are going to. All I know is that you must take me home. Besides, why have you people not visited us lately? Mecca, it's not like uh, that. I beg, stay out of this matter. I know for you, you will always have an excuse to hook off the blame. What about your husband? For the past three months now, you've not visited us. You don't want to come and see your brother. You don't have to blame me. You know your husband is a very difficult person. Last time you had problems and I tried to come into it, he told me plainly that I should stay clear out of his family affairs. What you don't expect me to do? I'm sorry, you know how my husband behaves at times. He's still your brother now. At least once in a while you have to come and see us, you and your wife. At least visit us. Know whether he's still beating me or not. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We are fine this day, Sham. I am so happy. I've trekked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so how is Jenny now? Jenny, you know Jenny now. As stubborn as she used to be. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are you not coming to say hi to your brother? No, I don't think so. You've wasted enough time and also you've put us off our direction. And I need to inform my brother before coming to his house. Mm -hmm. If you say so, <laughs> thanks for the ride. And say me well to Junior. We shall do so. <laughs> Please take good care of yourself and Jenny, okay?
I am back. You are playing chess. I'm not playing chess. I'm teaching Obi now to play. You know this is very educative. Anyway, I'm sure you realize that I cannot be sourcing for food alone. The duty has to be shared. Take this back. Inside it are ingredients to make a Christmas. So go and cook so that we can eat. Still sitting down. There's a change in authority. So, it is a new routine. As a matter of fact, you should go and join your father in the kitchen and help him peel the vegetables. La, 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 la. Are you still doing there? I'm getting a bit now ready for school. Are you not looking at the time? Eh? Do you want them to lock Obina out of the school gate? I will be through very soon, please. Summer, hurry up now! I will be through very soon. to hold back my feelings when I see you. I use complaint of everything. Oh, yes. mm. why don't we as adults go to somewhere more private if you really want and desire me? Really? Mm -hmm. I'm still in my uniform, you know? And I can't go to a hotel with them. Please, let's do it here. We're going to do it now. Just relax. Yes. Relax. Um, you know what? Okay. We'll go somewhere. Private. Just give me a minute. Really? Let me call. Yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, just a minute, okay? <laughs> Captain. Obina from school, they must have dismissed by now. <laughs> no, please. I'm waiting for a colleague of mine who is coming to take me to where he feels I'm going to get a job. What did you say? See, don't leave my son. Don't leave my son in school more than five minutes after dismissal. Work indeed. Foolish man. <laughs> Just hold on.
Hello? You dropped the phone on me. You must be crazy. You're stupid, irresponsible, ungrateful human being. Nonsense. <sighs> When am I going to be free from this stuff? <laughs> So when the sign is still good up? As soon as you buy me the ticket. You'll be there. <laughs> Yo, baby. <laughs> mm, Captain, buckle up. So lovely. Yes. Hey. Okay. Yes. Ah, yeah. I've never had it so good. <laughs> oh, Captain. Oh. You flatter me. Hmm? Oof. Attention! Oh, baby! <laughs> yeah! Oh, so yeah. lovely! Come on! Oh, so sweet! Oh, um, so sweet! Oh, don't come back! Who was that? Oh, it's my late husband's uh, brother. They don't want me to be happy. 
and I will not kill myself because of them. I'm going to increase it to one million at you. You don't have a problem. Oh, I'll Captain. I'll do more than just you. <laughs> oh, Captain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't forget the proper spelling of my name. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll do everything right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. You wanted to kill me. Eh? But I like it like that. <laughs> ah, one million? Yes, that's for you. Captain! Just for me? Yes. I 
today. Alright. Who was that stop here on YouTube? in the neighborhood. No, it's a poor man. Yeah, hey. From this point of view. Probably she was driving. Daddy, things don't move me. Things like this don't move you? So what does? This is sweet, I have. You're almost 24 now. You don't get me younger. Alright? I have nearly seen you with a man. Uh, you introduce anyone to me. What is going on? Listen, looking at me will solve the problem. Before this year runs out, I want you to introduce the will be husband to me. Okay? Get those looks of your face. I wasn't the one that caused your so called bad thing. I think you're right. So, how is my my baby doing? Ow! Okay. <laughs> Come to think of that, what? I went to the hospital today. The heart is calm. Guess what? What? It's a baby boy. You're kidding me. I'm not kidding you, honey. For real. I'm going to give you a baby boy that you so much desire. I'm glad I'm the woman who's going to give you that. Baby, you made me a happy and proud man. <laughs> Come on, you deserve more than that. Oh, my sweetie. <laughs> mm, come on. Mm, I'm so happy. So, so, so happy. I'm so happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Mm. Oh, it's a baby boy. Mm. 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 What is it? You don't look bad. Is there any problem? So, no, there's one more thing. What is it? Just say that it is done. This place is no longer conducive for me and, and the baby. We need to re relocate to at least somewhere better. Or would you want anything to happen to your baby? Of course. Don't say that again. Then hmm? do something. Is that your problem? Yes. Okay. Um. What if I say sometime next week they should move into the house? Would I be fair enough to my sweetheart and carry my baby boy? <laughs> as what? If I may ask. Of course, as Mrs. Chiwa and Lano Sopa. What else? Are you saying? Marry me. You are kidding me, Daniel. <laughs> oh, so my sweet. I'm happier than oh, you are. I'm happy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sign your message.
I called your office and uh, your receptionist told me that she traveled. Oh, I came back yesterday. Hey, uh, I got this for you. Well, we have told you time and again. I have all the material things that life can offer. All I need now is what I don't have. And it is only you that can give it to me. And what is that? Ruby, I need to see my daughter-in-law. To give me grandchildren. But, but I'm, I'm not interested. Obin, each time I tell you about this, you tell me you are not interested. Okay. I want you to introduce me to your girlfriend. But I don't have a girlfriend. Do I need a girlfriend for any reason? Obin. Do you realize how old you are? Why are you doing this to me? I am old enough to see my grandchildren. Mom, Mom, I... Do you have anything in the kitchen? I'm hungry. I just have something to eat so I don't have the time for that. Receptionist didn't come to work today, so I'm the emergency receptionist. If you need anything, my number. Hmm. What happened to her then? Hmm. You've not heard. Her husband beat her mercilessly yesterday, turned her into a punching bag because of a little conflict they had. <laughs> no man, I say no man, has a right to beat up a woman he calls his own wife. That is why I said that I would rather remain single for the rest of my life than allow myself to be killed by a fellow human being like me simply in the name of a husband. Never. Well, that's your life. <laughs> well, if you can't do anything, don't forget my number. Emeka, I, mean, I think you are very callous, nonchalant, and, and carefree with these girls. And I think it's not good for you as a man. Come on, Obi. What are you talking? These are not street girls, you know. We are talking about high class bears. You see? Look, Obi. So, Obi, Obi. Forget what is in the skirt and go for what you have in the head. These girls are just not what you think they are. Oh, yeah. Come on, let me see. Ah, excuse me. 
This is my friend Uchi. Hey. Um, Uchi, meet my darling. In my car, but I call him Max. Alright. And that is friend Obina. Hi. Excuse me. Um, please. Here you are. And um, make sure you invite as many dashing dudes as possible. Obi, I hope you will come, please. Ah, uh, I'll, I'll try. Alright, I'll be expecting. Alright, so? I'll try. Ah, uh, trust me. Don't worry, we have cute little things for you. Why not? Why not? Just sit down. Mm, we have too much stuff to make before we get on. Oh. I'll give you a call later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, bye. 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 <laughs> Maybe she's not thinking about getting another one because it's not me. I, I just give it two months. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, there she is. Jenny, she's back. Good evening. Good evening, sweetheart. Why are you coming back this night? Traffic. Traffic? I see. Uh, one minute, Jennifer. I want you to meet uh, my new wife, your stepmother. Welcome. Is that all you can say? What do you expect me to say? Jump up, hug her, or kiss her? See that? Don't worry. She understand later. She's so pretty. Why is she not married yet? Well, <clears throat> pretty, yes. And she took after me. But her character, she took after her mother. I'm sure you understand me. Um, if you ask her much later, she can tell you. Maybe she'll tell you why she's not married yet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, ask her. Okay. Sound like you were saying. Two months after this baby comes. Hmm? For someone to live with one he don't know. Coming together as one. Sharing one life as one. And not an easy game at all. Jennifer, where is my own dinner? Stepmother, what have you been doing inside the room since morning? I hope you've not forgotten that I'm your stepmother. Now listen, let me tell you. Your mates are in their husband's house. You can't come here and be an obstacle in my own husband's house. I can't tolerate you anymore. Are you up to 24? 
You don't think so? You want to tell me that you never saw any young, fresh looking guys out there? Then move into an old man's house? At least, it's better than remaining in your father's house. Jennifer, go and marry. I want peace in my own marriage. With you around, I don't have peace here. Go out and look for a man to marry. You're not getting any younger. Go and look for your husband, Jennifer. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you too. I'd rather remain single than get married to an old man. at Independence Layout. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's okay. Thank you very much. It's all right. Bye-bye. Oh, you changed your mind. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Obina, it is a problem. At my age, I do not have grandchildren. It is a problem. Mom, I'm not interested in marriage. I told you. Ah. Obina, don't tell me you are in a secret cult. A secret cult, indeed. Then if I was, you and Dad initiated me, perhaps. Some... What are you talking about? How? Mom, I told you I'm not interested in marriage. I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not interested in expressing what that experienced before he killed himself. Open! Open! Yes? Have I said anything strange? Have I said anything new? Mom, you frustrated dad into killing himself. And now you talk about marriage to me? You were wicked. How dare you? Don't come to this house if you are not married. Now get out of my presence. Out! And by the special grace of God, we shall be in. <laughs> of course we will be. <laughs> yeah. By God's grace we will. Yes. I like your son. 
Very well. Thank you very much. And I'm sure your daughter will like you too. Oh, of course. Good. <laughs> I told you that she is. Danny. Uh, Danny, you called me. Yes. Uh, um, at last, God has answered your prayers. How do you mean? Well, uh, this handsome young man and his father, they have come to ask for your hand in marriage. Oh, really? Yes, they have. Wow. <laughs> well, tell them I am not interested. Excuse me. Jennifer! Jennifer! Well, I'm sorry, you know. I'm sure she had a very hectic day at work today. After she's rested, I'll talk to her. I'm sure she'll change her mind. But I hope you don't mind. Surely. We shall come back. And by that time, I'm sure everything will have been all right. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Most welcome. Thank you very much. Well, young man. Don't worry, okay? okay. your would-be husband? Huh? Is that what you think? You think you're getting younger? Huh? Now you listen to me. It's either you marry this young handsome man I just left here, or you leave my house. Did you get that? Did you get that? I'd rather leave. Can you imagine what is wrong with this people? Why don't you get married and leave us in peace in this house? Ah, let her go now and let me enjoy my own marriage. Every day is she goes out and comes back late. Look at a, 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 a very handsome young man, a spare pastilla. I'm thinking how I, I can help out. Uh, why don't you come with me, okay? Let me take you somewhere, relax and get yourself, okay? Maybe you'll we'll find somewhere later, okay? Oh, <laughs> 
I should take you to your father's place and talk to him. Okay? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Um, get up and show me. Let's let's get let me see what we can do. Let's let's talk to you. Show me this. Excuse me, young man. Except you're here on another mission. If it's on our behalf, I'm sorry. You walked out on me. You told me you were leaving. And I am not expecting you back in this house. Now, young man, sir, I'd rather you leave my house before I come back. Excuse me. Are you still crying? I don't have anywhere else to go to. Oh. That's why you're crying. in my guest room. Oh, come on. You, okay, let, let me get your things from the car, okay? Come on, you can stay, no problem. Okay? to say in effect is that you need a man in your life you should try and reconsider your decision I mean every woman needs a man look Jenny a woman without a man is like a house without a roof exactly despite the fact that men are wicked we all know that men are wicked 
But it's not enough reason for you to say you won't get married. Mm -hmm. Jennifer is not done. Come on. Are you done with your advices? No, come on. Go ahead and advise me. Linda, that's your friend that usually comes around to take you out for lunch. He's a medical doctor, I guess. Of course he is. Good. And I suppose he's married? Ah! Please, what are you trying to insinuate? No, nothing. It's just that he'll soon come here. Uh-huh. He'll soon bite in here. But Linda, do you ever sit down to think about the past conditions? Hi, ladies. talking about? Have you seen what I meant? Come on, I keep on telling you girls that, that this, this men are very callous and wicked. But no, you wouldn't listen to me. For heaven's sakes, the wife could be at home begging him to come for lunch and he'll be like, no, I'm busy. Or some other kind of story. As long as I am concerned, no man is worth that. Uh, responsibility of a woman to do the household chores, except otherwise. But as long as I live here with you, I will do all of them. Do you mean what you've just said or are you pretending about it? Well, what do you mean pretending? Sit down and talk. Okay. <sighs> See, uh, I want us to discuss a very vital issue. I hope favorable. same circumstance. Me, I'm suggesting that we, you know, we try this, you know, we view this matter of love and marriage, I mean, vis-a-vis -vis how it's used. Look, I, I, I don't get you properly. What, what did you say? Look, just break this whole thing down so I can understand you, because I don't get you. See, let's pretend to be husband and wife, you know. You know, how do I put it? See, to see how we can handle these things our parents couldn't handle. Let's see if it's workable. So, uh, how do you intend to achieve that? Do we tell my father? No. Uh, neither will I tell my mom. 
You see, um, Jennifer, I want us to go into contract marriage for three years. You know, we'll get into, you know, motherless baby's home, adopt a baby, you know, view the responsibilities of families, you know, vis-a-vis -vis what you're supposed to do in a marriage and the things I'm supposed to do in a marriage. And, and now let's see how it was that our parents couldn't cope. Let's see what it was, you know. No love making then. Oh, yes, no romantic feelings. So, Mr. Matu, you mean you've been married for five years? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yes, five years. That's all right. Um, as you can see, I have this fine baby for you. And I hope you just take good care of her. I will sure take good care of her. Because if you don't, I'll call in the social welfare. No, 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 you wouldn't have to do that. You see, we are going to take very good care of the baby. That's all right, but um, I can see you can take good care of the baby. No problem. So let me get the papers while you're signing the necessary documents. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Obi, I thank God you made it at last. What's that? Yesterday, when I came to your house, I saw... What is that? You mean Jennifer? Yes, Jennifer. She now lives in your house. Oh, see, you got it all wrong, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I'm only helping her out. I know what's on your mind. <laughs> you won't get me mad. Come on, let's face fact. Obi. What is this problem that you have refused to share with your friend? I don't want to talk about it, Emeka. Look, Emeka. Can you imagine my mother warned me not to come back to the house unless I get married? Can you imagine? Yes. She's absolutely right. You see, you think buying her laces and all what is the best? She needs to see her grandchildren. Or do you want to be a reverend father? Listen, marriage is not the highest achievement in life, you know. Obi, the Bible said, say, go ye into the world and multiply. Have you multiplied? <laughs> oh, go and ask the reverend father. <laughs> there you go again. Obi. Obi. Uh, and I can go back to your office. Eh? You see, I'm busy here. Okay, I give that gift to you. Give me nice. <laughs> She's so strong. Is she? You want water? Finish what you have in your mouth. Finish it, okay? Take your hands off your mouth. Hmm? Look at you. But did you just go to eat with her fingers? I didn't. She's gonna put it again. Now drink water. Here we go. Let me feed you. No, wait, wait, let's go. You see? She was few, she would have wanted more. Uh, you need body spray and deodorant. Why, why don't you just take the uh, body spray or the deodorant? And for the jam and butter, I mean, I think you should take the jam, you know, for fat's sake. Right? Well, um, I think I'll prefer the body spray okay. and the jam. But for the other things, I'll need them. All right. I'll get you the money.
Jenny. Hey, I hope you're okay. Yes, to know. Oh, really? I'm glad you guys did. Such a nice girl. I have not tasted this guy's anger to know if it is the same with my dad's. forgiven me. Obina, I have changed. Please, think about your future. I want you to get married and give me grandchildren. Obi. I know what you are afraid of. You see, whoever God has destined for you to marry definitely cannot behave the way I did when I was young. See, I am sorry. I apologize. I'm ashamed of myself for the things that I did to your father. I said before, if you get a good wife and you're determined to make your marriage work, your children will definitely not go through the same horrifying childhood that you, that you went through. I am very sorry, my dear. I beg of you, become one. Go be drunk again, no? Do. I am sorry. Ma'am, I've not heard from you. What's happening? What's happening? Ah, Mama, good day. Good day, my son. I hope I've not interrupted. I'll see you later. No, 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 it's okay. Just sit down, okay? Sit down. Please, um, I would like you to come over to my shopping plaza. 
I would like to talk to you. It's all right. Thank you. a very fatal motor accident today. Mm. So I had to help take the victims to the hospital. Hey, uh, good Samaritan. Clap for yourself now. Eh? Hey? Clap for yourself. Samuel! Samuel! If you know your mother called you Samuel, start going back to that hospital right now because this house will not enter me and you disguise Please understand. Oh, yes, Samuel! Start leave this house because I will scream and shout for the neighbors to hear. Stop going. Say, I'm ready for you. Please. I am ready for you. Come and enter the house now. Come on, enter. See. Somewhere! Somewhere! Hey! What am I doing in this hotel room? Missing the warmth of my home. All because I want to test a lady. God, this is not coming out well. But well, I have to go back to the house. I have to. so much but I want you to do me a favor you know they say a mother knows so much about her children in their formative years but friends get to know so much more about them when they are grown up I need you to tell me certain truths about my son's way of life my son's a strange attitude towards settling down has given me great cause for concern. He doesn't seem to have any plans whatsoever about the future. Please, has he ever told you anything about settling down? Does he have any girlfriend? And if he does, what is her name? Or is he a homosexual? No, Mama. 
You don't have to talk like this. Would be nice, my friend. Truly, let me tell you. Since I know Obi, I have never seen him with any girl. I said it. I said it. Anyway, that's why I invited you here because um, I knew I could depend on you. You see, he could be looking up to you to get married. They say birds of the same feathers flock together. Are you married yourself? Well, um, not really. But everybody knows. I do keep good relationship with girls. You have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. You see, Obi, Obi, I don't know. You see, my dear, I want you to help me talk to Obi now. Let him have a different view of life. Let him see life differently. At my age, I have no grandchild. Please, talk to him for me. And I assure you, you will not regret meeting me. I will talk to Obi and get back to you. Papa is a kind of fruit, sweet like sugar, yellow like Fanta. Everybody likes Popo. Popo is a kind of fruit. Papa is a kind of fruit, sweet like sugar, yellow like Fanta. Everybody likes Papa. Hey. Hi. Uh, Would you want to marry me? What? Obi, that was not our agreement. God, for Christ's sake, we are in the month of April. And our two years of contract will be expired in two months' time. God, so this is how you want to lure me into marriage with you. This is how you want to lure me into your bed, right? This is bullshit. Jennifer, where are you going? This nonsense has got to stop. It's not like my mother. I'm already beginning to love this girl.
And now it's time to tell our parents. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, you're welcome. So many. So I Virginia. I hope you're getting used to it. Oh yes, I am. Where's Madame? <laughs> I'm glad she'll be scratching the whole of, of your room. She's inside. <laughs> Madame, the madam. Baby daddy's back. Did you say oh welcome God. to daddy? Choma! Hmm? Choma! Where is Choma? Choma! Abina, what is it? Oh, wait, wait, where's Choma? Choma should be sleeping in our room. What's the problem? What, what, what is this? Oh, dear. Oh, my God. I, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. You see, I was here in the sitting room feeding the baby. How many times will I warn you never to leave my door open? I said I was feeding the baby. I never knew she had gone inside. God. Look, do you know what documents these are? Oh, for Christ's sake, stop shouting. Me, I'm shouting. You're shouting, she's out. I promise it will never happen again. It's okay. It's okay. I, I have forgiven you. Thank you. Get up. You know, my father. My father never said sorry. That makes you different. Lapses. Sure. Not even one. Alpha Bravo TV. Enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sweet, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. 
Afarevo Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa. Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Aousa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels, of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.